We're given a coffee pot that we idealize as being in the shape of a perfect cylinder. And then we're told that the volume of the coffee is changing at this very peculiar rate, neg namely negative 5 pi times the square root of h. Obviously a mathematician's coffee pot if there ever was one. At any rate, uh, we're asked to do a related rates problem, connecting two related rates, and then we're asked to solve a differential equation by separation of variables. So here's some of the key information we're going to need to use to handle this problem. And so part A asks us to show a certain connection between rates, namely that uh, dh dt equals negative one-fifth uh, the square root of h. Now in a related rates problem it is typical that we have to first understand which quantities rates need relating. Well dv dt is the only information that is given us in terms of rates and dh dt is the quantity that we need to show a connection to. So the rates, the quantities rates that need relating are V and H. So we need a f an equation that connects V and H. Unfortunately that is the equation for a cylinder. Okay, so we're going to start here. We're given that V equals pi r squared h. Now we're going to differentiate both sides. And what do we get? We get dv dt equals. Now we're going to have to use the product rule to differentiate here. So I'm going to pull out the pi and now I have the derivative of the first 2r dr dt times the second plus the derivative of the second dh dt times r squared. Okay, now what do we know? Well, dh dt is the quantity that we're trying to solve for. dv dt is what we've been given. dv dt is known to be negative 5 pi square root of h. dr dt is the rate of change of the radius. Well, this radius is not changing. Now notice, this is not the radius of the coffee pot, but rather the radius of the volume of coffee. Regardless, its radius is not changing. So this entire term is zero. So coming back, what we have is negative 5 pi root h equals pi times dh dt r squared and r is 5 so this becomes 25. Now I can cancel the pi's on both sides. I can cancel 5 here and if I take away 5 here I'm left with 5 and so what I have is negative root h equals 5 dh dt or dh dt equals negative 1 fifth root h. 
which is what I was being asked to demonstrate. Again, what is probably the most challenging here is recognizing in the standard form of related rates questions which quantities rates need relating and realizing that they're asking us to connect dH dt with dV dt. That leads to choosing this as our basic equation. And then we recognize that dR dt is zero. Now that's a challenging question. Let's go on to part b. Now we have to solve a differential equation using the technique of separation of variables. So we start by separating variables. And we take this formula that we've just derived and which is given to us and we, re we try to get all of the H-related terms on the left and all of the T-related terms on the right. So we have dH over the square root of H equals negative one-fifth dT. Let's continue this up here. and we're going to integrate both sides. So that's going to give us the integral h, I'm going to rewrite this as h to the negative one-half equals the integral of negative one-fifth dt and this is going to give us h to the one half over one half by the power rule and this is going to give us negative one fifth t and because these are indefinite integrals that are being integrated we're going to consolidate the part that we don't know into the plus c just on the right hand side So let's rewrite. I've got 2h to the 1 half equals negative 1 fifth t plus c. Now I've got to solve for h. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and then I'm going to have to square both sides. I've got h equals negative one-tenth t plus c, and I have to square it. But when I square it, I no longer know whether I was working with a positive or a negative h. And so I have to add that plus or minus condition. The only way we're going to remove that uncertainty is through the application of the initial condition. So this is part of finding C. Okay, so using the initial condition, I know that h of, h of 0 is 17, so I'll write that 17 equals uh, plus or minus, what happens when, well, let's just plug in the t equals 0 makes this condition 0. plus the c squared. So what we're saying is plus or minus the quantity c squared is 17. 
Well, because c squared has to be positive, we know that we must have chosen the plus side of this. And so we have h of t equals the positive choice. Okay. negative one-tenth t plus the c must have been the square root of 17. Finally, in part c, we have to understand when the coffee pot is empty. Well, part of the struggle is realizing that coffee pot empty is the same as okay, h equals 0. And so we're asked to find the t when h is 0. So that means that 0 equals negative 1 tenth t plus the square root of 17 squared. And so the question is, when does this quantity equal zero? Let's just write that out. And so what we have is that 1 tenth t has to equal the square root of 17. And therefore, t equals 10 times the square root of 17.